here, friends. Father's Day is coming up soon, so we thought it would be fun to celebrate by drawing who? Your dad. Yeah, your dad. Now, you don't have to draw the details exactly like us. You can change this lesson so that it looks more like your dad. Yeah. Maybe if your dad is bald like me, you could try, You could do your drawing without hair. Yes. Or if your father has curly hair or straight hair, you could change the drawing. If you don't have a father, that's okay. You could do this drawing of your grandfather. Or your uncle. Oh, yeah. Or, or just somebody that you love. Yeah. All right, you ready to start? Yes. Let's first start by folding our paper. We'll take the top edge, line it up with the bottom edge, and then crease it down the middle and out to the corners. Then we're gonna take the top flap and line it up with the top edge like this and crease it down the middle also. There you go, and then can hold it down the middle and crease it, there you go. Now let's flip over our paper and repeat that last step. We're gonna take the top flap, line it up with the top edge, crease it down the middle and out to the corners. Now this last fold is just a guide fold, so we're going to unfold it and flatten it out and then flip our paper back over. I have some scratch paper we're gonna put underneath our drawing paper just to protect our table while we're drawing with our markers. It doesn't have to be red, it's just red because it matches our table. Now let's draw our dad. We're gonna start by drawing a nose right in the middle of our paper. I'm gonna draw it about this size. <laughs> there you go. And then we're gonna draw a circle for the left eye and then the same size circle for the right eye over here. Nice. And one more. Good job, you did it. Now let's draw a smaller circle in the top left of each eye. Then we're gonna color in the big circle, but leave that little circle white. Now let's draw the mouth. And we're gonna draw it right on top of the fold. So I'll start here, right underneath the eye, and we're gonna trace over the fold over underneath the other eye and stop. And we wanna also make sure that part of the mouth is, you can see it down here. So I'm gonna go back over this, just below the fold, so that it's, it's a lot bigger mouth. <laughs> now, when I open it up, you can see, yes, the mouth down here on this side, and then also up here on the fold. Now we're ready to draw the face or the shape of the head. I'm also gonna add a beard. So first let's draw the shape of the head. We're gonna start here and draw a U shape. I'm gonna start here, we're gonna come down, we're gonna go past the fold, and I'm gonna come over here, and then back up on the other side, next to the eye, so in the same place. <laughs> there you go. I love how big our father's chins are gonna be. Yes. <laughs> over the fold and then back up. Now I'm gonna draw a beard on my father. So I'm gonna start here and then draw another line that comes across underneath the eyes and over the mouth and then back up like that. Do you wanna add a different detail to your dad? I'm gonna add a mustache. A mustache, yeah, draw it above the mouth. There you go, you could draw <laughs> a little mustache. Or you could even draw the mustache so it comes over here past the eyes. That would oh, be yeah. kinda of cool and then curls. <laughs> oh yeah, just like that, that's awesome. And then another one on the other side. <laughs> that's, that's perfect, I love that mustache. Yes. Now you guys at home, remember to pause the video and take time to add extra details to your father. Now let's draw the top of our dad's head. If your dad has curly hair, you could draw bumpy lines for curly hair or straight hair. I'm gonna add a hat to mine. Do you wanna add hair to yours? Yeah, I'm gonna add curly hair. Okay, <laughs> sounds good. I'm gonna extend the beard up a little higher so I can draw the hat. I'm gonna draw a curve like this that goes over. Yes, just like that. And then maybe another line right below. It. This is for the front of the hat or the brim. And then connect each side. Oh yes, that's awesome. <laughs> and then go above it. <laughs> that's so cool. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna draw the top of my hat, baseball hat. He has a cloud come... on his head. Yeah, he does. <laughs> I like it, it's curly hair. If your dad loves wearing hats, you could also add the details of your dad's hat. So if it's maybe a team, a baseball team, or some other logo, you could add it right on the top. 
Then I'm going to draw ears. I'll draw a C over here and a backward C on this side. Nice. Now let's draw the shoulders for a dad. I'm going to draw a curve that comes out from the beard and down, and then the same thing on the side. Come out, curve, down. It's like a self-portrait. Oh, it does look like a self-portrait. <laughs> if it was a picture of you. Yes. Now let's add a collar to the shirt. I'm going to draw two lines, diagonal lines, coming down from the beard or the chin. You could draw them right here. And then I'm going to draw a line coming up and connecting on the left and also over here on the right. Oh, you could add a tie. Maybe I'll just turn mine into a polo shirt. So right here you could draw a small letter V for the top of the tie. I'm just going to draw a line down and then two buttons. But on yours you could draw, yeah, a line coming down for the left side of the tie. Oh, that's awesome. It's a little tie. <laughs> That's perfect. It looks really cool. We did it awesome. We finished drawing our dads. Oh, we're not completely done. Oh, you're adding details. That's really cool. Let's open up our folding surprise or the puppet and we're going to flatten it out. I'll help you. We're going to slide this down and we'll flatten out the fold so it's easier to draw on. Let's connect the side of our dad's face. We're going to connect the beard on mine. I'm going to start up here on the left and draw a line down to connect to the bottom. And I'm going to do the same thing on the right side. And if we ever go too fast or we fast forward the video, what can our art friends do? Pause the video. Yeah, if you need extra time. Okay, now let's connect the mouth. On the left side, we'll draw a line down that matches the outside of the head. And then we'll do the same thing on the right side. Now let's draw the teeth inside. We're going to start here and draw a line that comes in. And then we're going to draw another line that comes in on the other side. There you go. Now let's draw another line that's going to come up and curve up here at the top and then curve down and then connect to the other side. Yeah. Now let's draw the lines for the teeth. We're going to draw a line right in the middle. And then we'll draw a line on the left and also on the right for the front teeth. And then if we have room right here, we could draw another line, but on yours, oh yeah, you could do that too. We'll do the same thing on the right. And then on this side, watch this, we're going to draw the lines going down and then we'll do the same on the right. Okay, now let's draw the bottom teeth. We're going to repeat the same steps. We'll draw a line here and a line over here. And then let's connect those by tracing around, drawing kind of a square U shape. And then let's draw the bottom teeth. And then we're going to draw the lines for the teeth. So one right in the middle and then one on each side. Then let's add another line on each side. There you go. And then let's draw the lines going up the side and the same on the side. We added the teeth. Now let's add the tongue. I'm going to draw a big letter U right in between the bottom teeth. Like that big letter U. And then let's draw two bumps to connect the top of that tongue. Now let's draw the back of the mouth. We're going to draw that little punching bag in the back of your throat. So we'll draw a small letter U. <laughs> and then we're going to curve around on the left side and connect down to the tongue. Then we'll do the same thing on the right. Curve around and then connect down to the tongue. Awesome, we did it. We finished drawing our dads, except we're not completely done. We still need color. Yeah, this part we're going to fast forward, but at the end you can pause the video if you want to match our same coloring. But you can color any way you want. Yeah, also you could add extra things inside of the folding surprise. So we want to make sure that you just add them below this top fold and above the bottom fold so that when it's folded up, they're hidden. But you could draw all of your dad's favorite treats. You could draw it like candy bars, 
or maybe your dad's favorite soda pop. Or broccoli. Oh, broccoli. Yeah, yeah. if your dad likes broccoli. <laughs> you ready to fast forward? Yeah. Awesome, we did it. We finished drawing and coloring our dads. They look awesome, all colored in, but let's show our art friends the inside. Ready? Three, two, one. Happy, Happy Father's, Father's Day. Day. <laughs> I love all the extra candy and um, pizza and what's this, a muffin? Yes. Or a cupcake. Also, you have some healthy food in there too. I added broccoli, like you said. <laughs> but I also got some burgers and pizza to balance it out. You can add anything to the inside of the folding surprise. Just make sure to add it on the inside so that when it's folded up, it's all hidden. You could also write, Happy Father's Day. That would be really cool. Yeah. Let's turn it into a puppet. We're gonna fold it up like this, and you hold, you hold the back of the puppet like that, right there. Then I have some tape. We're gonna tape your fingers down to the top part, right here, and then flip it over. And we're gonna tape the other side, your thumb, so that it's easier to open and close the puppet. I'm gonna do the same thing to mine. Then you can hold it up like this and open and close the mouth a lot easier. And that way you can also eat more food. <laughs> we hope you had a lot of fun following along with us and drawing your dad. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye. Um, um, I want more cookies. <laughs>